Army Reserve Soldier Awarded for Life-Saving Actions During Deadly Mass Shootings. Army Reserve Sergeant James Lawson never imagined a country concert would end with him not only fighting for his life, but also saving the life of somebody else. Surrounded by the members of his unit on the Pacific Coast, the watercraft operator from the 481st Transportation Company, Heavy Boat, was awarded the Army Commendation Medal for his actions on that fateful night nearly two years ago. All of the training went to use that night, Lawson said. I had the mentality of no man left behind. Having the training and having that benefit to react quickly, it could have been life or death in that situation. Being in the Army Reserve may have saved my life that day. On October 1, 2017, a gunman opened fire on concert goers from an elevated casino window overlooking the packed outdoor concert area hosting the Harvest Music Festival in Las Vegas, Nevada. As one, the entire crowd entered a desperate panic, all intent on escaping the flurry of bullets raining down upon them. In the middle of the chaos, Lawson immediately went back to the basics. As I was running, all I could think of was, I'm up, he sees me, I'm down, said Lawson, referring to his army movement technique training as he leveraged nearby obstacles for cover. We were there to have fun and weren't expecting any enemy fire, so it was all reaction at that point. As he continued to navigate the stampede, Lawson managed to escape the concert area with his fiance to a parking lot where he noticed a large group gathered around a pickup truck. As he approached, he noticed a large pool of blood growing at the base of the tailgate, and a concertgoer struggling unsuccessfully to apply a tourniquet to a profusely bleeding gunshot wound in a man's cap. Lawson immediately set to work, applying a makeshift tourniquet with the man's belt and stopping the bleeding until he could be transported to a hospital. The man he saved, Tom McIntosh, described Lawson as calm under pressure and sure of his abilities. My wife was screaming, which was starting to make me panic a little, but James stayed calm and kept a dialogue going with me to keep me calm as well, McIntosh said. I started to panic, and I kept trying to sit up to see how bad my leg was, but James kept distracting me and was able to calm me down again. The Army Reserve focuses on a sustained training regimen for all soldiers to ensure both combat lethality and a constant state of preparedness for the unexpected. As part of this training, many soldiers take the Combat Lifesaver Course, CLS, which is an Im immersive and high-stress scenario-based instruction that emphasizes quick action. The course empowers soldiers to provide fellow warriors with the necessary care needed to help them survive until trained medical personnel can take over. In a ceremony surrounded by his fellow soldiers, U.S. Army Captain Schuler Wellis awarded the Army Commendation Medal to Lawson and com commented on his heroism. Sergeant Lawson's actions set the bar for how soldiers should act on and off duty, he said. He is an example of why keeping on top of CLS training is important, and he is an example of what we all, sh what we all strive to be like in the military. Sergeant Lawson has received extensive training over his 12 years in the U.S. Army Reserve including two deployments to Kuwait as a watercraft operator transporting personnel and equipment throughout the Persian Gulf. His, his most recent tour had concluded only days before the shooting. He took military leave to attend the concert with his fiancé. The Chief of Army Reserve Com and Commanding General, United States Army Reserve Command, Lieutenant General Charles Lucky, became aware of Lawson's efforts during the awards process and wrote glowingly of his actions. Superb work under extraordinary pressure and stress, Lucky commented. Everything we honor as soldiers. McIntosh fully recovered and got to thank Lawson personally in the days following the incident, when the Today Show brought the two men together for a surprise reunion. Since then, McIntosh has gotten to know Lawson and has grown to understand the nature of his character. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind that I would have died in that alley if he hadn't stopped to help me, McIntosh said. It takes a special person to willingly inject themselves into a situation like that. Now that I've gotten to know James, I know that's just the kind of guy that he is. Yeah, I, was, I was scared. You know? I ain't gonna lie. It was, it was scary. You know, you know, because I didn't know. Like we know now, it was a guy shooting from Mandalay Bay, but for all I knew, he was in the crowd. I didn't know, and I didn't know how many there were, and you know, you're surrounded by you know thousands of people, and you don't know who's shooting at you. You know, it's. Pretty stressful stuff, so, yeah.
Tom McIntosh asegura que en ese momento perdió la noción del tiempo. Dijo que por un momento el tirador Stephen Paydock se detuvo, segundos después continuó disparando. Y aunque logró sobrevivir al incidente, Tom dijo que su vida cambió, pues durante el tiroteo vivió momentos muy complicados. El tiroteo más sangriento en la era moderna de Estados Unidos marca a la comunidad estadounidense y con eso continuará la incertidumbre sobre el control de armas en ese país. Milenio here in Vegas has brought out the best in so many people and I want to introduce you to Tom McIntosh. He was among the hundreds who were wounded when a complete stranger stopped to help him and Tom, good morning. It's good, good morning. to see you. Thank you. First, I, I want to ask how you are. You were shot in the leg. Yeah, um, a little sore. I'm okay though. What happened? What do you remember? Uh, we were watching the show and a bunch of shots rang out and we thought it was fireworks at first and, and um, just kept coming and coming and and uh, once everybody realized what it was everybody started running and, and that's where we were running out uh, to the east side of the property and tried to get over the wall and I helped my wife over the wall and and I helped another lady over the wall and then that's when I got shot so then I jumped over the wall and and uh, I was kind of walking down trying to get away and and bleeding really bad and then that's when I somebody tried to help me and and He wasn't really doing it right, and then, then uh, James came along and tied off my leg and kept me from bleeding anymore. And, and uh, another guy, uh, he put me in a truck, and that guy took me to the hospital and with James. And you know, just a lot of people helping out. You, know? you, you were there, your wife, you had gotten her over the wall, and then after you were shot, you, you were saying you were bleeding out. You feel like you wouldn't have made it I wouldn't if, if someone hadn't stepped in. No, I, by the time I got over the wall up, my pants were already soaked and my shoe was full of uh, blood. So, no, I, I wouldn't have made it. I know I wouldn't have, so, I, you know, <laughs> I'm very thankful that, that James was there and to help me. Now, James, now you know his name, but you didn't know him then. No. Complete stranger. Yes. We were able to find James, um, and I know you wanted to thank him. I did. So, we brought him here. Oh, wow. So that you could meet him, and James nice. is here. This is James Lawson. <laughs> there he is. Hey, man. Thanks, buddy. Of course, man. Oh, I appreciate it. You do. <laughs> yeah. I'm all right. All right. That's great. You haven't seen each other since yesterday. Uh, since we dropped him off at the ER. <laughs> yeah. yeah. James, you, you found Tom. What did he look like to you? you? You could tell he needed help, obviously. Yeah, we, uh, I mean, we were, we were getting away, and uh, I just, we came across him. He was in the bed of a pickup truck. Uh, there's a belt, a makeshift tourniquet. It was kind of around his knee. Uh, it was a really wrong spot, and I uh, just, I walked up there, and he was actively bleeding. So I adjusted the belt, got it up, where it should be, tighten it down. Uh, we stopped the bleeding. I think we hung out there for 10, 15 minutes and uh, some some savior in a pickup truck came and said, do we need a ride? We said, yeah, we threw them all in the bed of the truck and we took off to the hospital. You and, must have uh, <laughs> both been terrified because um, he was cool. Was <laughs> he was actually really cool about it. Yeah. I was terrified, but yeah. <laughs> I don't remember thinking. <laughs> um, yeah, we just, uh, you know, he kept wanting to not lose his foot, and I kept reassuring him that, and <laughs> yeah, he yeah. still got it. We're good. It's, yeah. James, so. how did you know how to care for Tom? Um, well, I mean, I've been uh, in the Army Reserves for over 10 years. Now we go through numerous uh, like combat lifesaver trainings and I've got my EMT cert uh, a while back and 
Um, I never did anything with it and, until the other night, so it was, <laughs> I didn't go through all that semester for nothing. <laughs> Tom and I were just talking before we came on here, and he, he couldn't say enough about you, saying he wanted to talk to James. He had to tell him thanks. Of course. Absolutely. <laughs> When we were speaking a little bit earlier, we were talking about this tragedy, and everybody is so shaken up yeah. and stunned. And I told you, you know, a story like this makes us remember who we really are, <laughs> two strangers coming to help. Absolutely. And, uh, I mean, there was dozens and dozens of other uh, concert goers doing the same thing. Uh, you know, they, they couldn't leave anybody behind. They were running back towards the fire to help more people. Um, you know, there's got to be hundreds of, of stories like this one. And um, I do want to say that whoever was driving that uh, maroon F-250, 350, thank you. Thank you. Um, it could have been a whole different night if, yeah. uh, if he wasn't there when he was. I wouldn't be here. <laughs> I wouldn't. I'm so glad to meet both of you, and I'm glad <laughs> that you're back together and hope yeah. this is the beginning of a, a friendship here. Absolutely. Oh, uh, definitely. Most definitely. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you for being here.